sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today in this video we do have some more action figure news to go over, so let's get into it right away and start it off with a reissue of the SH Figure Art Sane Raised on Earth Son Goku, and this is going to reissue next month in May, so if you did miss out on this figure the first time around, you can get him right now because he's up for a pre-order. Alright, so now moving on to Todd McFarlane's Spawn Kickstarter. Right here we do have a, a better look at how big the box is going to be, that the figure is going to be included in but he is also going to be included in a clamshell packaging and now we finally have the option to order multiples so a you will be able to get two classic spawns b you can get a classic and a modern spawn c is going to be a two classic spawns one with an autograph and then d is going to be one autograph classic spawn and one unsigned modern spawn and then we do have e which will be three pack of three classic spawns f is a three pack two classic spawns one autograph classic spawn then you get a four pack which is the trilogy and then you do get one regular classic spawn and then h is a five pack you get the trilogy and then you do get a classic and a modern spawn as well and i is also a five pack you get the trilogy and two classic spawns j is a six pack you get the trilogy two classic spawns and a modern spawn and then last k is a six pack which is two trilogy sets so lots of different options to get multiple which is awesome because that's what i was waiting for and todd mcfarland did make an update video showing the articulation of the first prototype so here we do have two joints at the neck and upper and a lower neck joint you can see you could tilt and move forward and back and they can also swivel as well so that's definitely good articulation for me up there then the torso they said they're still working on it is going to be one piece but they're debating making it one solid sculpt one solid piece of plastic or the rubbery plastic where they add the torso joint inside, which they have done in the past. There, My Hero Academia Shigaraki does have it, and it works very well. So I'd rather them go that route instead of giving us just one chunk of plastic for the torso there. And then for the shoulder and the elbow joints, the shoulder joint is the basic type of joint, which I'm perfectly fine with. The elbow joint is a single jointed elbow, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but as long as it at least goes 90 degrees or more, I'll be fine with a single jointed elbow. I, I just hate when you get a single jointed elbow and it, it doesn't even hit 90 degrees. And he also did point out that this prototype did not have the bicep swivel in it, but the final product and the second prototype will have the bicep swivel, the true bicep swivel built in to the figure for those of you who are worried about that because I was myself and it looks like for the wrist joints here they're going to a hinge and swivel instead of the the ball hinge that we're used to seeing with their figures kind of curious as to why they switched it but you can see it, it can hinge up and down and swivel as well and that wrist joint is thick as hell so I will not be worried about swapping hands with this figure I'm worrying about the wrist joint breaking on me even on their ball hinges those wrist joint pegs don't seem like they're going to break either. So I'm, I'm curious as to why they switched it up because you can't do as many types of posing with just a hinge and swivel. And for the legs here, you could see this spawn is definitely going to be able to vent damage. So that is awesome. He didn't really show it going up and down, but you could see it right here. It could go up a little bit and there is going to be a bit more swivel in there compared to the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. And then for the knees here, you can see that they are double jointed like the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. So that's awesome. Then the ankles do have a pretty big ball hinge on there. So it kind of makes it look like his ankles are a little bit bigger, which I'm fine with because I love when they use a ball hinge for the ankles because then you could, you could have the hinge go side to side and get a 90 degree bend ankle pivot. And of course, there will be a toe hinge as well so the ankle uh, from the knees down or even from the legs down it looks like the articulation is going to be great and next he showed off a couple of accessories right here we have the club with the nails all sticking out and the giant hook blade in it there so that's going to be one of the weapons and i think that's only for the autographed spawn that you get then we're going to be getting an extra automatic with grenade launcher and serrated knife on it and just a crazy looking weapon there and i forgot which tear you're going to be getting that weapon with but both both those weapons look pretty dope man and i'm pretty sure each figure gets different types of weapons the black and white 
or artist proof spawn is going to be included with a dope looking sword which I did not get a picture of. And then for all the alternate heads, right here we have the regular head that's going to be coming on the modern spawn, the hamburger head. And sorry if the images are blurry, his camera wasn't focusing. Then we do have the Al Simmons head here, which I believe is going to be an alternate head for the modern spawn. And then you get it with the three pack. And then here we have my favorite two, which is the shoelace head face and then the yelling, screaming hamburger head face. And both of these head sculpts look beyond phenomenal, especially the yelling screaming one and and here's the yelling screaming one painted thank god we are getting a painted version of that head sculpt there really really digging this spawn kickstarter by todd mcfarlane and as i was recording this he hit over two million dollars and now he's adding on more stuff so not too long ago he added real chains around like the belt or waist area for spawn now he's adding a, a steel neck chain for the piece that connects his cape so all the chains on spawn are going to be real metal chains which is awesome and then he also did announce every figure and every figure is getting the new chains but every figure is going to be getting a pair of fists now so that's a total of what six alternate hands three pairs of hands now with the spawn figures and if you get the artist proof one the right hand is going to have a hole in the fist so we can grip onto that sword not sure if the regular versions will have the hole. Still not clear on, on, on that yet. And then for anyone backing any three pack, you will now be getting a gold plate with Todd McFarlane's autograph. And then for every figure, we are going to be getting a necro energy effect. So we're going to be getting probably like a green translucent effect. That That is so damn awesome. Then he said the three pack, each figure will have different necro energy effects, but the single ones and all that are just going to have the same type of necro energy effect. I don't care if it's the same one. It's going to look dope. And that is an accessory we, a lot of collectors, have been wanting with a spawn for a while now. So a ton of new awesome add-ons with this great spawn Kickstarter. It just keeps getting better and better. All right, so next here, Jack Stowe is going to be making a little diorama of Kami's temple or kami's lookout which looks pretty cool actually it's it's not a bad little display piece there as you can see the scale of it it will, it will fit in okay with sh figure arts you get the trees you get a paper floor base a paper uh background and then you do get the temple of course as well so there is four different pieces i'm guessing the kami and mr popo are separate uh, figures they made in the past or statue like figures so not sure about those but the the temple does look pretty cool I'm not sure when it's going to release yet but i think it's supposed to either in june or july if i'm not mistaken and the base i said is a sheet of paper i meant a sheet of paper goes over the base the base is just one whole separate piece all right next here for diamond select we have their lord of the ring stuff so we do have their first two pack which will have a build a figure piece and they're saying this is going to release fall of 2020 so i'm guessing around the time of october or november of 2020 and they are up for pre-order as well so the first two pack as you can see is legolas and gimli and out of the two i think gimli looks great legolas does too but they put him in a weird like uh, a weird pose at his torso with his chest like poking out there but i think they both look great i'm so happy some figure company is doing some updated lord of the rings figures and then they also will be included with their own accessories and a build a figure sauron piece not sure which piece it's going to be but once you collect all the figures you can build this badass looking sauron this thing looks dope as hell i can't wait for these figures to release already all right so next here we have the max factory figma sekiro shadows die twice i think he's also known as the white wolf i haven't played the game so i don't know anything about the character besides how badass he looks and this is going to be releasing January of 2021, so still a while away for this to release, but he did recently go up for pre-order, so if you want to get this awesome looking figure, you can pre-order him right now. So there will be two different versions, the regular release here with not as many accessories. We do get the two swords, the sheaths, alternate hands, and then we do get that kanai on a rope type weapon. Don't know what it's called exactly, the same weapon Scorpion for Mortal Kombat uses. So that's the regular version. Then we do get the DX version, which has the same accessories, but you also get that spear, that axe, the umbrella looking piece, a statue, and then that card type piece. So you do get a ton more accessories with the DX version. That's the one 
I definitely had to pre-order. The DX version is also included with some small piece as well by the statue I forgot to mention, but as I said before, I never played the game. I do want to. I'm not a big gamer though, so I, I never had a chance to play the game, but when I saw the unpainted prototype, I knew I had to get this figure. He's just a, a badass looking character, and Figma, it looks like they hit the nail right on the head with this figure here. This thing looks beyond amazing. All right, so next here, finally, we are going to be getting the SH Figure Arts MCU Loki. I don't know which version it is. I'm guessing the first Avengers or not entirely sure. I forgot which version, but this is going to be releasing September of 2020, and it is a web exclusive, a very expensive web exclusive at that, but he did recently go up for pre-order as well, so if you want to get this Loki for your collection, you can pre-order him right now. And speaking of that, I need to pay for my pre-order, actually. Which I literally stopped recording this and did just pay for it. And then Loki is going to be included with the longer scepter and then the shorter one. We do get the, the cube, which is one of the infinity stones. We do get the handcuffs and then we do get the helmet, which you can remove and put on the figure, of course. And then for alternate faces or head sculpts, we do get the regular basic stern face. And it looks like we get another one of those faces, but he does have that mouthpiece to shut him up so he can't talk like when he was arrested by Thor at the end of the Avengers. So cool that we do get the two head sculpts. Just wish he came with a sadistic, smiling Loki head sculpt. But overall, this figure is on point, man. They, they, they killed it with this Loki and cannot wait for this to release. And thank you, DV Goat on Instagram for giving me a heads up about this Loki. And he also gave me a heads up about this next figure, which is the SH Figure Arts Winter Soldier. Supposedly, he's going to be the next to release after Loki. And God, I hope that is true. And he better come with his damn badass Winter Soldier mask like in the movie. Winter Soldier, please be included with that alternate head. All right, so now for Mafex right here, we have their Age of Apocalypse comic version Magneto, and this is supposed to be releasing the end of the year, December of 2020, and he did recently go up for pre-order as well, so if you want to get this version of Magneto, you can pre-order him right now, and I said Magneto kind of weird there. And he will be included with three alternate head sculpts, so we do have the unmasked, stern-looking face, then in the middle we do have the helmeted, angry, teeth-gritted face, and then all the way on the right, we have my favorite, which kind of has like a shadow look. It's an all blacked out face there with the helmet on, and that one does look awesome. And then he's also going to be included, well, with his helmet. As we saw, I'm guessing it can be removed, or maybe it's a separate helmet accessory. And then we do get some Magneto-y ability pink effects there, which look pretty cool. Also, and as you can see here, he does have a cloth cape, and I'm 99% sure there is wire running down the sides as well. And the cape does look pretty nice on the figure, but overall, I think the figure looks really good. I'm not a fan of the Age of Apocalypse versions of the X-Men characters, but this Magneto does look good in figure form. Alrighty, so last but not least, right here, Mafex is going to be giving us a Beskar armor Mandalorian, and kind of surprised about this. I didn't think they were making Star Wars figures anymore, but bam, we're going to be getting Mando here, and I think he might be releasing in December along with Magneto, but not 100% sure on that, and you can see the accessories he is included with. He's almost included with the same amount of stuff with the SH Figure Arts one, just minus a jetpack. The little wrist missiles, I forgot what they're called, the whispers something or something whispers, and then he also does not have the the right plate of armor with the Insigma on there, but this one is included with a Baby Yoda, and I'm pretty sure that Baby Yoda is 99% more statue, but definitely awesome. He is going to be included with the child, and I do love the look of his cape, cloth cape, much more over the SH Figure Arts one, but that flame effect is also amazing too. I do like the flame effect a bit more with Mafex compared to Figure Arts. And like I always say, man, it's always awesome getting more of one character from different figure companies because more options is better. And if it's a favorite character of yours, then you could have even more of that character in your collection. But anyway, that is all the action figure news I have for you as of right now. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about all these figures in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, I guess you didn't like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later.